Good morning, 2nd of January 2016. Happy New Year. I just thought I'd, uh, I'm scanning at the moment, at the dining room table, well not the dining room because I haven't got one, but it's at my dining table, uh, and I'm scanning pictures of a misspent youth, and I thought I'd share some with you. Uh, whilst I'm whilst I'm doing it, yeah. So so anyway, hold on. Right, so this one's done. So here's a collection of fo photos of me from my childhood, which uh, I thought I'd share. I'm not going to post them online, but I'll at least show them in this uh, video. Uh, so this this photo that I'm about to show you was from, from a summer holiday. Uh, Mum and Dad decided to put me into this Tarzan competition, which is very embarrassing. Uh, it was at Butlins, and I don't know what year, but I look about seven or eight, so it would have been about 1970. And I am number nine. <laughs> Look at that. Number ten, one. Bastard. Yeah, so that was me as a child. Right, let's scan that. And whilst I'm showing you the others, that can be scanning. Uh, okay, go. Right. This photo here was from this photo here was from about 1976, the Burnt Mill School rugby team, which I was in. Uh, so there you go. That's me there. So so on the top. From left to right, you have Andrew Palmer, Tony Herring, don't know that person, forgotten his name, tall guy in the middle with Mark Bias, uh, he sadly died uh, before he was 20, had a brain tumour I think, can't remember the next guy's name, he was a nutter, or the next guy. Uh, and standing next to me with a big black hair is uh, I, what's he? I can't remember his name. But anyway, we was the flankers in the scrum. Uh, but as the other guys carried on growing and I didn't, I got moved out onto the wing. Uh, and then they soon realised I wasn't fast enough. And the boys got bigger, so I stopped playing rugby, it just wasn't for me. On the bottom row, got Alan Plant, can't remember, Richard Drage, David O'Connell, Lee Cole, Peter Chibble, and Rowan Atkinson. Rowan Atkinson? Rowan Torkelson. <laughs> yeah, cool, eh? From around the same sort of time, uh, we had the school put on a play called The Staff Laugh, where basically the staff got up and entertained everybody. And I was in a sketch uh, with a local celebrity who had, who had recently become famous. Uh, can't see him in the picture. But yeah, Glenn Hoddle went to my school. And I was in the same sketch as him. That's that's sort of me there. Uh, yeah, it's quite cool. I was rubbish at football, by the way. No, no coordination whatsoever. I was okay if you put a ball in my head and asked me to run, just not very fast. But yeah, rubbish at football. Right. Oh, this one. 
Yeah. I think this is the, what was that really hot summer we had in the 70s? Was it 76 or 77? Something like that. It's around this time. Uh, it's a new key. Mum and Dad and David, my brother. Um, it's a new key. It's best holiday as a child ever. It was fantastic. The weather was brilliant. We just spent the whole week just body surfing in, in the Atlantic. And it was great. And that's me. Can't really see it very well, but that's me. Didn't have any budgie smugglers then. Couldn't afford them. Although I did have a red and white striped pair of budgie smugglers, Speedos, the Burnt Mill Swim Team, uh, which I was a member of, and uh, I was a backstroker. Cool, eh? <coughs> right. Oh, God. I was 20 here, just two weeks into my 20th, 21st year, and it's my wedding day. Uh, I'm not going to show you a picture of me with my wife, but and there's a picture of me with my mum. Going to see her later. Uh, see how she is. I think my brother went in a week. But, uh, yeah. So, yeah. Look at the carpet at my mum's home. I thought they'd got rid of crappy carpets like that by the early 80s. But no, no. Disgusting. Yeah. Oh, and finally, I think this is from around 1990. So I took uh, further education uh, and in mechanical and production engineering. I've uh, stayed in that sort of line of work really all my working life. And uh, this is when I uh, graduated from Anglia Ruskin University, or Chelmsford Poly as it was then. Uh, yeah, so that's me. Hair's already starting to go grey. Uh, God, how I wish I'd started facial hair removal then. Would have been so much easier. But hey ho. Uh, yeah, so pretty good, eh? Thought I'd share those with you. And uh, yeah. So, as I said, I'm going to see Mum today. Uh, also, I want to go to Debenhams in Welly Garden City. Never been to that store before, I don't think, but it's my nearest Debenham. Uh, I need to get some makeup, some. Um, what do I use? Bare mineral. It's really good for. Uh, uh, for my skin, especially when I've had so much electrolysis, quite good for me. So I'm going to go there, I've got a voucher, my daughter got me for Christmas, so I'm going to use that and uh, spend my money. And then this evening, late afternoon, I'm going to see the Danish girl. My handbag already has a pouch full of tissues, which probably won't be enough. Uh, so I'll probably have to take a kitchen roll or something like that, uh, just to keep my eyes dry. Uh, so anyway, have a great day, and uh, I'll speak to you another time. Take care.